Hi everyone. I wasn't gonna film today. Um, I've literally been running errands all day. I went to a baby shower this morning um, for a young gal who's just having her first baby. And um, and then I got home for an hour and Kaylee's like, I need you to come and do this and this and school supplies. And anyway, I've been running all over. We are done buying school supplies. We are done. We are fully stocked, loaded. I ordered eight pairs of leggings for the older girls on Amazon yesterday because I'm not getting into the fiasco of athletics again. And they're done. Kaylee's like, I don't need to worry about like new clothes. I can't find anything at Target. I'll find things on Amazon. And as I see them, you can buy them. She's not worried about it. She's like over needing to have new clothes for school. Um, I'm trying to find Panda Express. That's it. So, did all that. Went to Target and got a few things. And we, I wasn't going to film tonight at all. I wasn't going to do any of this. But, it occurred to me that it is important to find your people. Like, and I wanted to like talk to you about that. Find your friends that you can go out on a boat with on a Saturday night just for the heck of it. And we're going to do that tonight. Our friends have a little boat. And so we are going to go out. Um, this will probably be our only chance to go out on their boat um, for the rest of the summer. We haven't, they haven't even gotten their boat out until today. That's how crazy their summer was. And I just think it's important to find your people that, oh gosh, someone needs a testosterone check over there. Yeah, that muffler doesn't make you more cool. <laughs> anyway, um, neither does speeding on the ground in front of my car. Nice dude. You look real, oh, there he goes, spitting again. I'd show you, but that's not, that's not cool. But I just think it's important to find your friends, whether you can go out on a boat or not. Find your friends that will be there for you, friends that you want to be there for them, friends that will listen to you, friends that align with your beliefs, or maybe they don't. Maybe you can have conversations to help understand, you know, controversial issues. I just, this group of friends of ours has been so important to us for the past couple years as we've gotten closer to them. And I just wanted to document it and remember the fun times that we have. And now we're all kind of starting to talk about like our kids are older and they can stay home. And <laughs> the friends that just went on Alaskan cruise, she's like, well, I don't see any reason why we all can't do this in the next couple years together. And I'm all for it. Let's go do another couples cruise. We've done that before. And it was just like a two day cruise, but I'm up for a seven day cruise. Anyway, we, we're going into that stage of life in the next eight to 10 years. And I just want people like that in my life. And I just wanted to like bring that to you guys in case you don't have those friends, um, find them, be that good friend for someone. Cause then they're going to want to be that friend for you. So also it's going to be a beautiful night. It's kind of cloudy and overcast today. It's only going to hit maybe 77 degrees. Um, so it's not a wonderful get in the water hot night, but the sunset's going to be gorgeous. So I'm going to take you along our little boat journey. We are having dinner on the boat. So I'm here to get to Panda Express. I've got a little cooler bag with some beverages in it and some water. And I've got my beach bag. So let's go get some Panda. We are going to um, meet Jason um, at, when he's done with work. It kind of works because we're meeting at the boat launch um, to get onto the boat in like 20 minutes. And then we'll just hang out on the boat with the other two couples. And then when Jason's done and he'll just drive back over to the boat launch and we'll go pick him up with the boat and he'll join us for the rest of the night. So it's kind of working out perfect. So let's go into Panda and get my dinner. That's awesome. Yeah, you know, it just happens to be having what people need when they need it. It's like these random little glass shoes left, and it's like, oh, you oh, well, we have one left. Oh, that's like, awesome. Yeah. You're not gonna have anything left for your sale next week if you have random stuff leaving. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we don't have a lot. Like, we literally have like four sandals that aren't backless. Yeah. Uh, so whatever, we'll do a little sale, get a little 
spark a business. Yeah. Uh, get people excited for fall. Yeah. Uh, but okay, so you're on your way. Yeah. Um, you're gonna you're gonna go home and change, right? Yeah. Okay. Can I grab, like, McDonald's or something? No, I have Panda for you. You have what? Panda? Yeah, I got Panda. Because I'm awesome. Oh, awesome. You're awesome. I am, and I have some, uh, some Coke beverages and some water. I'm awesome. You love me. I do love you. Yeah, I meant to bring clothes with me, but then I got busy messing with fans, and then I forgot. That's okay. Um, if you can just call me when you get there, I have a an orange sweatshirt that I think I'm gonna need, and I forgot to grab it. Oh, at the house, an orange sweatshirt. Yeah, it's in the closet. It's like the second to last shirt in my closet. It's okay, like. Does it say anything? No, it just is made out of like towel material, like terry cloth. Oh yeah. It's. It's new. It probably still has a tag on it. Just snag that and put it in your bag. You're breaking up. Okay, I'll call you if I can't find it. Well, yeah. It's right there. It's... Okay. Alright. Yeah, just call us when you're headed over there so we can be back there by the time you come. Alright. Alright. Love you. See you in a bit. Love ya. Bye. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break too easily. But I'm worth it. Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh. Alright, we've been out on the lake here for a little bit we all ate dinner but we're waiting for Jason he just got here so we're pulling into the dock here and gonna get him but I got a ticket in my car because I forgot to put my uh, state pass in my windshield so I've got to give him my keys to get my pass out to put in his car in order to not get him a ticket in his car and then I'm gonna go contest my ticket because I have a pass I just forgot to put it up so um, we're just pulling in here and he's gonna come on down and hop on the boat. Just watch me break in your sweat. You're falling into me, touch me. I swear. You would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dawn. Oh, baby, feel free. I wanna make you sweat on me. I wanna make you sweat on me. We ran out of gas. Oh. He doesn't want me to talk about it. Tired? No, we're tied. Oh, yeah, we're tied on. Sorry. No, it's not. Oh, sorry. I think Dana did. No, no I didn't know how to do it. You're okay. fine. You don't have to move. You're fine. Okay. So, <laughs> our friends are coming to rescue us, but we're tied onto this guy's um, buoy right now um, while we wait for gas. He doesn't want me to talk about it, but we're okay. <laughs> we're okay, Kevin. Luckily, I don't think he can hear me. But uh, yeah, we're only like three minutes away. Our friends that we always come to their dock, they literally are like three minutes away that way. They're just not at that house yet. So they're on their way to come and save us. Well, okay. Is this our rescue boat? It is our rescue boat. Oh, look at that. You saved the day. So much, Shane. You want me to do that? Got it. Oh, we gotta open this up. All right. And thank you. It started.
All right. It was hard to fully explain what happened <laughs> out on the boat because Kevin, our friend, was a little embarrassed that he ran out of gas. The gas gauge, to give him credit, said it had 15 gallons left. It ha no, it was not even 15 gallons. It was at a quarter tank. And he was like, I don't know why it's out of gas because it's showing it's not. Anyway, so he ran out of gas. <laughs> Luckily, we were, oh, hey, are you headed? Oh, he was gonna go too. Anyway, so <laughs> it ran out. Luckily, we were right by someone's dock. I mean, we, we were following all the um, lake houses anyway, but you had to kind of stay on the outside of the buoy. So luckily, we just, when the boat stopped, we were on the outside of the buoy, but it just slowly took us closer to um, this guy's dock. And he came out and he saw us kind of floating around there and we asked if we could tie up to his buoy. And he's like, oh yeah, it's not even my buoy, it's my neighbor's buoy. He's like, yeah, you can tie up to it. And then we called our friend who had a, um, he has a boat house, or a lake house. And um, they just weren't there that night. Hang on. People look at me so funny when they see me um, filming with this camera. He's like looking at me like, what in the heck are you doing? Anyway. Our friend owns a house out on the lake and they're demolishing it next week. So they just weren't there tonight. But when they found out that we were out of gas, he's like, dude, you don't even know how many times I run out of gas on that lake. I will come and get you. He's like, so many people have to come and help me. Um, so it's my turn. I'll give back. So he, we just had to wait for them to drive clear over from where we live. Or, you know, they live right by us, but and then get their boat and, and get gas and bring it to us. So that was our adventure for tonight. But I, we all enjoyed it. We all had a grand old time because it was an adventure. We just sat there and talked while we waited and it was a beautiful sunset. And for us, it was just a fantastic night. And we just got to watch the sunset. So, um, but it, <laughs> it meant that it took us a little bit longer to get back and our friends didn't take food out on the boat because they're like, oh, we'll just get food after we're done. I'm sure you guys want shakes or something afterward. And so now it's been like another hour-ish, hour and a half um, beyond what they wanted. <laughs> so it's 8.30 now and they're like, we're kind of hungry. So we're gonna go over to Triple X Burgers where they can get dinner and we're just gonna get shakes and fries and, and have um, just a little snack. Because we're like, none of us wanna go home yet. We're all like, no, like, couples night is not over yet we <laughs> it's not over at 8 30 there's a tire in the road so but we're all in like separate cars so we're gonna have to um, caravan over and we'll go to triple x and who knew this night was gonna be so exciting and so you know adventurous also we did not anticipate that the sun would be out at all it did not say that the sun was supposed to be out we didn't have sunscreen, so I probably got a little bit of sunburn. Although right now on camera, I look super white. But fantastic weather. Just enough sun where you feel like it's a summer night, but just enough breeze to feel like you're not so hot. So I have been having a fantastic time tonight and the fun is not over yet. So now I can talk to you. Hi. Hey. <laughs> They've been talking as guys in the back of the boat, so I wasn't even like talking to you on the boat. No, we didn't talk. But about that was quite the adventure. It was fun, right? It was fun. Uh, we're not out anything. He feels bad, but it's it's all fun. We have a little chitlin right here. It's not even 10, so it's okay that you're up, but we're gonna go to bed early tonight. Yeah. Get on schedule for cheer next week. So we're nice and tired and rested. Well, tired enough to go to sleep earlier to get some better sleep, and right? Did you oh, you did? Did she like it? She has like a whole bag of Starburst. Yeah, because she's allergic to peanuts, so, so she gets a lot of Starburst. 
kids, right? Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, I'm glad she liked it. Um, you gotta get lots of rest. Okay, we're gonna sign off with you guys. Battery died. We're gonna sign off. Adios, sayonara. Oyasuminasai. Gonna do duo. Buenas noches. Gonna. <laughs> so glad that. How many days of Duolingo have you done so far? I don't know, 600. Enough to say that. No, that was Japanese and Spanish. Oh, it's coming in handy then. Alrighty, take care, you guys. It was a fun adventure for us. Made it back safely, and now I have something to hold over my friends. <laughs> it's so fun. The menu at Triple X had it's all about cars and you know drive-ins and that kind of stuff, and one of the. Um, one of the meal options was no parking. And I won, I, I joked around with them. And I was like, is there not one for like empty tank? <laughs> Jason thinks it would be better marketing to have it be full tank. Cause you're filling up. I know, food. but my joke was that it's an empty tank. Yes. Anyway, he was laughing at about it pretty quickly after it happened. We kind of relaxed, sat on the boat and he realized we weren't upset. We were having a great time sitting there enjoying the sunset. So. It wasn't a big deal. Um, we'll sign off with you guys. Thanks for joining us today. Quite fun. And we have plans for a really fun date night. We're gonna go up north and go to a really cool lodge on the water. And that'll be fun to look forward to after the kids go back to school. Um, continue some outdoor date nights um, until the rain hits and we go back to playing cards inside. <laughs> Just trying to utilize the ability to go out and about before the rain comes. Sign off, say good night. Turn out the light, turn out that light. Turn out the light, turn out the light. Good night. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.